All right. So over the past few weeks, I've given you a you know, number of tips on different kinds of things that you can eat to boost your energy, uh, to get better sleep, and uh, also boost your metabolism. And uh, those are really specific things. And they're part of a system. It's something that uh, you know, you can do one piecemeal and uh, they'll have some effect, but it's really part of a system. So really, um, uh, what's important and most, thing to, most important thing to understand about food is that foods actually each have their own individual properties. And those individual properties send individual messages to our body about what it should do. Okay, because remember, our body is relegated by chemical triggers inside. So hormones and things like that are chemical triggers that tell us our internal body, uh, what to do, what, you know, what kinds of functions are going to turn on, what are going to turn off. So think about foods in that way. Foods can be classified in that way. They have all kinds of different properties to them. Some foods warm the body, some foods cool the body. Some foods give you energy, some foods calm you down. Some foods make you sluggish. Um, some foods, uh, they will um, actually... Um, uh, you know, cause really good or really bad things to happen. And they're not immediate. So sometimes for us, it's hard to uh, imagine like, okay, what can that be? You know, it sounds like a bunch of, uh, you know, it sounds like interesting information, but gosh, you know, where are the studies to show that? And, and uh, you know, this, the proof is in the pudding. When you get your body to a point when you can actually feel the individual properties of the foods that come into your body and how they feel, how they affect you, it's obvious. You don't need a government-funded study or a university study or a study funded by the food industry or, or whoever because your experience is more important than a study anyway, right? That's what most people are trying to change. So what I'm saying here is that foods have properties that are different from food to food and they affect your body in a different way and they send your body messages. So you want to send your body a uniform set of messages to be healthy strong and uh, feeling good, then you need to be eating the right foods. And how do you tell which are the right or wrong foods? Well, that's a system. And uh, that's something that can be learned. It takes some time, uh, but certainly it can be learned. And um, there are many systems that one can follow, actually, to do that. So anyhow, hope that helps uh, eliminate you a little more on that idea. And um, talk to you soon.